In this video tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to change the name of your Rust server hosted by Sublight Servers. The first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is go ahead and hit stop. This will take between 5 and 30 seconds depending on your server. Once your server says stop and you see this message saying the server will stop successfully, we're just going to go ahead and go to the configuration files. And there is two ways to edit your configuration. There is the text editor. Uh, now the text editor is for advanced users. Um, this is pretty, uh, pretty in depth. If you enter the wrong values, you can break your server. So as per this message here, we strongly suggest you use the config editor button. So just go ahead and hit config editor. And here you, you can see everything's laid out in a nice, easy to use method. Um, there's a bunch of these more advanced options, but once again, that is, you know, for more advanced users, if you want to edit that. Um, but the easiest way to change your server name is simply by going to here, server name. We do not enforce any branding, so you can just completely get rid of the hosted by sublight servers. So we can then name it, you know, cool new server. You can change your server website URL. This is going to be the link that, um, people can cl click within the, uh, rust game. Um, you can change it to anything you want. Um, I'm just going to leave it as our website. You can then also change your server description here. Um, so as, as of right now, it is welcome to our Rust server. And then you use slash N for a new line. And it says it's super duper awesome slash N. Have fun, everyone. You can change that once again to every, anything you want. And then here's your server URL image. Once again, this is our, um, this is going to be a link to the Rust logo. We just leave it as a default. And you can change your server world size. Just note that you'll have to reinstall your, um, you'll have to wipe your server before you change anything with the world size because it's going to regenerate a new one. And then you can choose how often your server saves and your server seed. You can also enable or disable PVP, enable or disable radiation, enable or disable global chat, the APCs, and back. Um, then once again, this is all the advanced uh, configurations. Um, you can change the server level, things like that. I suggest you leave most of this default unless you're more of an advanced user. Um, most people just want to have a little basic server for them and their friends, um, which is, you know, perfectly all right. But if you also want to have a crazy, crazy uh, Rust server that, you know, has every single plugin and mod imaginable, you can also do that. We offer you full access. Um, so, yep, that's pretty simple. So now that we saw that we changed, we I forgot to hit save, so that's probably important. So I'm just going to say cool new server <laughs> and we'll hit save and exit. Now, once this says saved, now we can go ahead and start the server. We're just going to make sure nothing broke. We're going to make sure the server starts up because every once in a while something can go wrong uh, when a file is saved, especially if you use the text editor and you enter a wrong value. Um, but we're just going to make sure it starts up. And then once it's started up and it's been running for a few minutes, you'll actually see this part change to your new host name. Um, your new server name. Um, server startup can take between 30 seconds and a couple minutes. It really depends on how fast your server is, what you have going on, everything like that. Um, we're just going to wait until this says zero out of 50 because this is a 50 slot server. Once that is going, we will be good to go. We just want to make sure it starts is all. For some reason, I had it open twice. <laughs> and any second now, it should the CPU usage should drop, and then we'll see zero out of fifty. We just gotta wait for that to go. And as you can see, server successfully started. It says zero out of 50. And if we refresh, sometimes it'll have the updated um, new name. Sometimes it won't. Yeah, like I said, it'll probably take about 10 minutes for this to update. And then you'll see your new name. But anyway, thank you for watching this Sublight Servers video tutorial.